Welcome everyone to the latest Coffee Break webinar by RIB Costex. My name is Francesca Nottingham and I'm a Costex consultant in RIB software. As you can see on screen, this month's topic is new features to rate libraries in version 7.3. So we'll have a look at the process of how to use these within the software. For those of you who don't know what Costex is or for those who have never used it, Costex is a fully integrated measuring and estimating solution with universal applications, supporting everything from hand-drawn sketches to PDFs, DWGs, all the way through to 3D models, BIM files, and everything in between. As we can see from this matrix, RIB Costex is available in a variety of licenses, ranging from offering all functionality to a fairly limited option, depending on your estimating requirements. Delving deeper into each functionality, let's look at the components, breaking down how each of them are cohesive with one another, bringing you an all-in-one service. You have your takeoff options to start with, whether you're using 3D BIM or 2D drawings, Costex provides accurate data enabling you to utilise this data within your workbook. So our workbooks are just like Excel spreadsheets, but they are our own version. They still have the ability to use formulas and functions, making them very easy to use and navigate. We then have revisions tracking. Now this offers an accurate method of comparing a previous revision with a new one, giving you multiple ways to highlight, identify and quantify any changes, meaning you're always up to date with the latest cost implications. Once you've completed your estimate, you then have the opportunity to produce a report. Now we offer various standard report templates for you to use. Alternatively, you can customise your own report, producing a professional quality output. Don't forget to check out the RIB Costex YouTube channel where we upload our Coffee Break webinars and you can also subscribe so you get notified of the latest videos and kept up to date with the newest features and how-to tips and tricks. So this month's webinar, as previously mentioned, we will be reviewing what new features there are in rate libraries in the latest version of Costex to be released, which is 7.3. So what are the new features? So to start off with, we now have the ability to capture embodied carbon data from 2015 materials. So you can import this straight into the system for you to complete an analysis on the embodied carbon for your project. We also have included the function of having rate libraries specific to a building. These are simply called building rate libraries. This means that you can tailor a rate library to be specific to that building and it won't affect other rates in other libraries across the board. Topics that we will explore are how to enable building rate libraries, how to export a building with rate libraries, and what happens in the event of a revision. So let's take a look at these new features in rate libraries. Okay, so previously it was only possible to set up rate libraries in system administration, like we've got here. These rate libraries um, could be used in any Costex building and were referred to as global rate libraries. In this new release of 7.3, you can also create rate libraries in a building, which can only be used in the building where they were created and are referred to as building rate libraries. Another new feature for 7.3 is being able to import data from uh, 2050 materials. So if you are wanting an analysis on carbon, then you can import that data as well as a rate library um, as a new feature. So in order to create a building rate library, you need to enable this feature when you create your building. So I'm going to come out of system admin here and I'm going to create a new building. Just give it a name of building rate library example. Assign it to a project. Okay, and then down here, you've got the option to disable or enable building rates. So I'm going to enable this. So this will allow me to create um, rate libraries within the system. Okay, so I'll press insert. So now we've got our building. Um, if I go to my workbook view and then go to my rates, you can see I don't have access to any. And that is because I have enabled the building rate libraries so none of the global libraries will be available to me unless I make them available. Um, but if for this sake, I would need to create a rate library within this building. So what I'm going to do is just bring in a workbook. OK, and then as you can see here, I've also got no default rate libraries available uh, because, like I just said, I either need to bring them in or I need to insert them for this building in particular. So I'll press insert. Okay, so 
In order to get rate libraries specifically for this building, all I need to do is go to my building properties. So I'll just head to file, go to properties, and then as you can see, I've got my building properties window and over here, I've got a new tab, uh, which is for rate libraries. So if I click on this, you can see I've now got options to insert um, or import. So uh, import would obviously take you to your file explorer. You could import any information, any new information that you had. If you wanted to insert a brand new one, you just click on this and then it's exactly the same as it was before. You just build up your rate library um, using this method. What you can also do is you can also bring in a rate library from system administration. So if I click on this, you can see I've got my whole list of existing rate libraries. So I don't have to create one from scratch. If I want it for this particular building, then I can bring it in um, as necessary. So if I click on project rates, for example, click OK. OK, so I've now brought in project rates from my system admin and it's now available over here. So I'm just going to press update. OK, so I've got um, a few rates in here. You can see uh, some of them, um, for example, if I pull this over, uh, this links to £90. If I want to edit this rate, I can do, let's say I don't want any insulation, so I'm going to get rid of this. Press update, update again. It's now changed to £72.50. Um, if I head to my system admin and go to my rate libraries, go to project rates and then find exactly the same rate. OK, you can see that that has remained at 90. So if I double click and edit this, the insulation is still there. So whatever you bring into this building is specific to this building. So if you've got um, a project that you could use like a master rate library for, then you can bring that in um, and then edit it item by item, or you can do a blanket markup of all the rates inside it as well. Um, but as you can see, it will not affect the master copy. OK, it's just specific to this building. So when you're exporting a building to EXF, if the building to be exported contains building rate libraries, the export building options dialog will additionally provide normal without building rates option in the export type drop down list and include building rates section at the bottom. So you would head to file, export, export building choose this one and then here you've got the option to select normal without building rates. You've also got various options here so you can include the entire project, all revisions, um, drawings, drawing files and dimensions. You've also got the live links excluding rates or uh, rate live links. Down the bottom here we've also got um, rate libraries that you can select so we've got project rates um, if you were to select normal then obviously you've got that option so going back to um, the other new feature of 7.3 so if I go into my system admin go into rate libraries uh, go to my import button so previous versions of Costex already supported using embodied carbon rate libraries from EC3 for carbon estimating as part of our ongoing commitment to improving the building industry sustainability, in this release we have added support for one more source of carbon data, so 2050 Materials. So 2050 Materials is an online platform which provides a comprehensive database of sustainability data for building materials. So users can obtain the following two types of data libraries from 2050 Materials in CSV format, so generic materials or product data. So these two types of CSV data libraries can be directly imported into COSEX as a rate library by using the new import embodied carbon rate library from 2050 materials option on the rate libraries window just here. The imported data can then be used for environmental impact assessments. Um, if you would like step by step instructions on how to import a CSV file from 2050 materials refer to the help guide where you can find an article on importing an embodied carbon rate library from 2050 materials topic in Costex.
Okay, so there's a whole article here on exactly what to do. Okay, so starting with a fresh workbook, um, something to note here with the new building rate libraries is um, what happens when you start looking at revisions. So um, in the past, when you've done revisions uh, because of the live link, anything that's updated in a previous revision will be updated in a new one. Um, with this building rate library, uh, this new feature, it prevents that from happening. So what happens is it will keep the rate library for that revision. So let's say revision one. Um, and yes, it's got green text, it is live linked. However, if you then start a new revision, so revision two, um, then whatever changes you make to that rate library will not affect a previous revision. So that keeps it in a, in a moment in time. So as an example, let's bring in um, another rate library. So we will go to the properties and we'll just, once again, just bring it in from system admin just to save time. So I'm gonna bring in my uh, project rates. Okay. Press update and over here it has appeared. So um, let's do the same thing. So we'll bring across our 90 pound a square meter uh, plasterboard and just place it here. Press update and we've got 90 pounds um, no quantity there, but we've got our uh, description, our code and our unit. So I'm literally just going to leave it at that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new revision. So I'm going to go to revisions, press add. I'm just going to call this revision two. And then press insert. Okay, so as you can see, my... Um, Building rate library example has padlock, so that's locked in a moment in time. Um, what I need to do is promote this workbook and then I can start to make changes on it. So I'm just gonna promote this to unlock it. Um, so if I make any changes to this, so I'm going to come to my rate library, edit this rate. Okay, once again, let's just get rid of the insulation. All right, so it's now 72 pound 50 press update, press update again. And as you can see, it's now updated to the 72 pound 50. Now, what I was trying to explain earlier is that our previous revision will be locked. So although it's live linked, um, it will be live linked to the rate library that's in that revision. So if we return to initial, so this is our revision one, you will see that in my workbook, let's go to it, that this has remained the same, okay? So this is really useful if you perhaps um, are, maybe you're tendering something and uh, you've done your takeoff and you've applied rates against it at a certain time of the year. So let's say January, um, and then maybe a few months have gone by, designs moved on and you are um, measuring it and pricing it again, then it will, allow you to edit the rate for that new one. So let's say April, um, but the January one won't be affected. So that's just one of the new features for um, COSEC 7.3. Um, hopefully this gives you a bit more flexibility with rate libraries and allowing you to have rate libraries specific to a project um, so that all of your projects aren't based on the same rate library and live linked to that same one if there are any changes. Um, please feel free to like this video and subscribe so you get notified of our latest updates um, of how to tips and tricks for Costex.